LNER streamlined Pacifics. These were the greatest Gresley Pacifics and day after day touched 100 miles an hour on the Silver Jubilee and Coronation streamlined trains. One of them, Mallard, seen here, preserved in Clapham Museum, holds the world record of 125 miles an hour for a steam locomotive. My model railway is a Hornby Dublo three rail system. All models now have become obsolete. This collection started 20 years ago with one loco, two carriages, and enough track to fit on the top of a table. On the first day, the loco fell off the table and had to be returned to home before emergency repairs. The blue engine seen here is a model of the Mallard mentioned at the beginning of the film, doing well over 125 miles an hour. The layout consists of three tracks worked independently, and this enables one train to overtake another, as seen in the film. This engine is a model of the Duchess of Montreux. The electric signal was made by a Bassett Loeb and was bought in the 1930s for 10 shillings, which was a lot of money then. The picking up of the mail is done electrically, contact being made between the coach and the rail. The operation here can be seen in slow motion. see the controllers which regulate the speed of the train. I have three of them, one for each track. Here a train is changing tracks and has to be regulated by using two controllers at the same time. This, of course, is a model of the Mallard pulling old LNER stock. Here is a close-up of the engine that fell off the table. This model of a Southern Railway tank engine was the second one added to my collection.
my son Andrew following in father's footsteps. Points are changed by hand because the layout is a temporary one. The first time I answered an advert with good results.